Hi, Tony here, and welcome back to the channel for another helmet review. Back at the end of 2016, I reviewed the Nex XD1 Adventure helmet, and I liked it. It did have a couple of niggles, the peak vibrated a lot on my KTM, and the sizing was a little bit off as well. But having said that, it had great features and it came in at a great price. Next, have now updated the XD1 with this, the X Wed 2. So I wanted to bring you this review to firstly see if they'd eradicated the original niggles I had with the XD1, but also to have a look at the new features and the enhancements and see how they perform in this helmet. Let's start with the sizing, and it is good news. Next, have added another shell size in the middle of the range, which has two different EPS liner sizes too. The medium and the large share the new shell, and I do have to say that in my size large, it is a much better, snugger, more comfortable fit. I did notice that pulling the helmet on and off was a little more difficult, but it will ease off as the neck curtain padding breaks in. The shell retains its X matrix laminate construction and the helmet weighs in at 1550 grams, which I think is a pretty decent weight. Now onto niggle number two, the peak. It's a new design and I have to say it is much better, but I still do get a bit of the resonance when riding on my Tiger 800. It's nowhere near as bad as it was on the XD1 and of course this will vary depending on the bike and the riding position etc. I did notice however that if I gently grab the peak between my thumb and forefinger it stopped and the helmet became almost silent. I tried it in a few positions with mixed results, so perhaps applying a small strip of sound deadener to the underside of the peak will solve my particular problem. There is a peak extender which can be fitted using the supplied fittings. Uh, this is designed for extended motorway or highway use. Again, it did make a little bit of a difference. The resonance wouldn't put me off riding in the helmet. It's not that bad, but I felt I should really point it out. So with my two xd1 niggles taken care of what else is new the most obvious is the improvement to the ventilation there are now three vents on the top of the helmet the original dual side vents have been repositioned to help with airflow and the change is noticeable when riding a new central vent has been added and this really does allow a huge amount of air into the helmet having the three vents all with two positions available really does maximize the flexibility of getting the right amount of airflow to suit the riding conditions. The only negative I could offer is that the central vent can be difficult to operate if you're wearing thick gloves as it sits close to the peak. Mind you, if you're wearing gloves that are that thick, it's probably cold enough that you won't be going near the central vent anyway. The chin ventilation has changed too, and again it flows a ton more air than the XD1 did. Just push the button at the bottom of the vent to open it and away you go. As with the XD1, it can be swapped out for the constantly vented off-road cover, which comes in the box. The modifications to the EPS liner also mean more airflow around the helmet, and I think this will be very welcome in hot weather. Overall, the liner of the helmet is plusher, and I would say higher quality than the XD1. The new chin sock particularly is deeper and has a better fit. The one on my XD1 would work loose when taking the helmet on and off, and they've solved this problem. Combine that with the redesigned neck rolls and the emergency release cheek pads and the x 2 offers a comfortable place to put your head with reduced wind noise. There is a drop down visor with an 80% tint. The control is easy to find and operate and the visor itself offers very good clarity of vision. My only gripe with it is that I'd like it to drop down a little further. Although the bottom doesn't interfere with my line of vision, I can see it and on days when you have bright sunlight straight into your face, it can be a little bit off-putting. Again, not a deal breaker, but just another few centimeters would make all the difference. <sighs> you can say that again. The helmet takes the same XCOM Bluetooth unit as the XD1, so if you are upgrading helmets, you can just switch it out. There's no need to buy a new unit. And as per the XD1, you also get a pin lock in the box, as well as the multitude of alternative fixings that allow you to mount action cameras on both sides of the helmet as well as a fitting for the top. The helmet is available in a number of plain and graphic colorways. This being the red, white and blue Wild Country, which is a new design for 2020. 
So my test, the X-Wed 2 has proved to be a comfortable, quiet and feature packed adventure style helmet. I think at the price it comes in, it really does offer very good value. This graphic version retails at $379.99. If you want the plain version, that's $329.99. And for, as I say, the features that this has, I think that's pretty good. I like the XD1 despite its shorts coming and this X-Wed 2 is a big improvement in all areas. So do I like this? Well, I don't suppose you're gonna to have to guess too hard as to what my verdict is on the helmet. I've included retailer links in the description box down below for you to go and check those out. I've also included a link to the Nex corporate website. And whilst you're there, you might want to take a look at the all new X Villiard helmet. It's a modular flip front adventure style helmet, which is new for 2020. Next claim that it's even plusher than the x 2, so if you're into those modular helmets and particularly looking for a modular helmet for adventure riding or touring, might be worth taking a look whilst you're on that website too. So if you're considering a new adventure helmet, I hope this review has been useful. If I've missed anything or if you've got any questions, you know where to ask in the comments section down below. If you like the video, please click that like button. And also if you haven't done, please click subscribe and the notification bell to get notified when new videos come through. So thanks for watching and until next time, take care, ride safe and I'll see you soon. Bye.